What's happening, youngins? We're gonna do a tour. We're gonna do the brand new Trucks of Prime. Lego. Lego. <laughs> We are back, we are back. Another edition of On Point Trucking Concepts with your main man, Lil Sean P. Lil Sean Parks, that is, all right? Uh, I'm here live. I well, not, Why should I say live? By the time y'all see this, it's not going to be live. But I'm here at the Prime Terminal. You know what I mean? Checking out some brand new trucks that Prime is going to um, be using in their fleet. Right now, I'm in a 2017, 2017 Freightliner Cascadia Evolution. Um, for those of you that have never seen uh, how this truck looks, uh, let's take a look at it, shall we? Alright, so let's start up here with the dash. This is the 2017 joint Freightliner Cascadia Evolution. That's what Prime offers, one of their trucks that they offer. Alright, so as you guys can see, for those that drive trucks, you probably be like, yo! Where the stick at, money? Where the stick at? Ain't no stick. All right, the stick is right here. That's the stick. All right. So it looks like this is going to. This is the DT12 automatic, uh, DD1515 liter, and uh, for the most part, it looks the same as uh, the other Freightliner. I mean, nothing really much changes here. Still looks the same. Um, you got cup holder right down there. As you guys see, you had two right there. Um, yeah, nothing has changed here. Let's take a look at the sleeper, shall we? All right, so you come to the sleeper. So this is me standing up right here by the driver door. And this is pretty much the sleeper of the 2017 Freightliner. You can see plenty of room. Like, I'm gonna show you, here go my hand, right? So I'm standing up, and I'm still not able to touch the ceiling. So plenty of room. I like that about it. You got a light right there, as you can see, for your dome light. You got speaker in this corner. Speaker in that corner, you got an upper bed uh, for your students if you decide to train. Uh, you got a window there. Looks like a window here. Looks like a full-size bed. This looks like a full-size. Got window here, window there, uh, cabinet space in here. All right, all right. Uh, area right here where you're gonna put your TV at. Area right there for your uh, refrigerator. And then you got a cubby space down here at the bottom where you can add a little bit more. All right. So this Freightliner has plenty of cabinets for you to use all right then you got a big closet right here on the back side all right closet extends all the way up there with looks like hooking points for you to hang clothes all right then you got a little area right here right here i know on my other when i first had my freight liner what did i do i had my tv there my refrigerator went there my microwave went right here in this cubby spot yep i remember it now Went there in that microwave spot. All right. You also got pull-out shelf. Uh, the Peterbilt shelf is, is pull-out drawers. A little bit bigger than this. I didn't realize that. But here's what it is. It's in there. You got another cubby space right here. I'm telling you, the Freightliner keeps cubby spaces for you to store your clothing and everything. That's what's up. All right. So on the, on the, on the units here at Prime, they got the... Um, yeah, APUs. All right, APUs. So as you guys can see, I can't turn on the lights because this truck doesn't have any power going to it right now. They're conserving the battery. But there goes the APU setups. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, the power's off in this one. I'm sure. But. All right. So that's that's pretty much it. All the prime trucks come with a power inverter, right there. All right. It's always normally behind the seats. And there you go. A fire extinguisher over here seat belts and you know this is me sitting right now in the bunk just looking out the window all right shout out to uh miguel a bud if you watch my videos man i'm sitting in your truck all right so 
just wanted to show the people what this one, what, what, what the Cascadia looks like. And don't know what Cascadia's look like that's coming in the truck. You got spaces up here, spaces there. You got space right here where you can put accessories at. Like I said, I know where all of these cubby holes are because I had a mid roof freight liner. I wish I would never got rid of it because uh, the Peterbilt is just giving me hell. All right, so you guys have seen the inside of it. Let's take a look on the outside of it, shall we? All right, so nothing really changes here with the freight liner. Nothing to ride home about. The freight liner still has the same front grill same lighting I know with the housing on this one you can actually actually get it in black with um, halogen lights it looks like my man Miguel you got the standard edition you know, no shots fired on you Miguel but uh young you got the standard edition you know what I mean I got I got I got mine decked out um but this is this is what it is you know what I mean I'm waiting for mine to come in so I gotta show I gotta show a truck so you know as you guys can see nothing changed between the freight liner uh, and I had mine of 2014, 2015. actually something did, right here, this very piece right here, okay, now this is supposed to be more aerodynamic, it actually is longer than mine, than mine was, and it sticks out further to push the wind out, so that's something new, okay. uh, mine didn't have this part either, mine was a 2014, mine didn't have this, I think that helps out with aerodynamic too, but uh, really, not too much different. Nothing has changed from a 14 to a 17. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. All right. Now, the other truck that Prime does have that's brand new to their fleet is a uh, Peterbilt 579. And let's go walk up on her, shall we? All right. So here's the 579 2017 that Prime is getting or that they have. This one right here, as you will see, says PTI. PTI looks like there's another company that Prime has partnered with and uh, either bought them out or either they didn't bought into Prime and uh, part of the Prime family now. But here's a 579, looks like a 17, 2017. And uh, as you guys can see here, it says, they out of Saxton, Missouri. All right. All right, so the 579, I was about to get this truck right here. I had it ordered. I canceled it when I found out that it was a mid-roof. Yes, this is a mid-roof. Just because I'm a backup, you see the extended roof up there. That's just an extended roof. That's exactly what it is. The inside of it, once I show you guys, we're gonna take a look inside of it. Uh, that doesn't make the roof inside any bigger. That is just used as, uh, what I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna say it's just used to take up space to make it look like it's a, not a mid-roof. <laughs> but also problem is getting the tri-packs. I got a tri-pack coming on mine. I uh, can't wait. I heard they're better. So, yeah. These right here I can't stand. I do not like those wheel covers. Boy, they are ugly. But I do, I tell you what I do like, I like that step right there. But of course, if you had, it, it, with being a, a flat bedder, It'll put the headache rack right there. It'll come down. So half of that step would be cut out if you had a um, flatbed because the headache rack goes there. But not too shabby of a looking truck. I'm not dealing with Peterbilt no more. You know what I mean? For the simple fact, I'm having too many electrical problems. And I only really have my truck. Not even a full year. I had it since May of 2015. I've been in the shop 16 times for electrical so nope you won't get me with this i will go back to freightliner all right so it does have these doors let me back up a little bit it does have these outlet doors in the sleeper take a look and see if it's open there you go that's what they do you open that up quick access outside to get outside open the door or exit your truck without you having to go uh through the front that's basically like an emergency exit all right folks Let's take a look on the inside, shall we? All right, we're back. We are on the inside of the 2017 579. Now, I know a lot of people probably are like, damn, that's nice. That's real nice. I mean, I'm kind of used to this because it looks just like how my Peterbilt looks. Gauges and everything is the same. Got a screen right here. It tells you about any issues that's going on. Got your lights over here. Everything looks the same to me. Got your 
controls. The nice thing about the Peterbilt is that it does have the controls on the steering wheel. For you to turn the volume up, turn the volume down, change the channels, where you don't have to really be reaching and stuff like that, where you have to do that with the Freightliner, of course. Um, you got your cruise control on, off, set, cancel. Uh, so I do like that part about the Peterbilt, is that it does have the controls on the steering wheel. I mean, don't let this fool you, man. This thing is laid out on the inside. You got the fake wood grain <laughs> across it. You got the tire uh, pressure monitor sensor. This is a is a prime thing. Um, if you go to another company with your truck from Prime, they will take this off. You won't be able to use that anymore. I do see they have on this new one. What is that? Smart Nav. It's pretty interesting. A little gadget. The screen got smaller. It looks like the screen on mine. And my 579 is bigger. Other than that, everything pretty much looks the same. They glorified the the switches and stuff on this one. A little bit of chrome accessory. Uh, and there's the automatic right there. You know, you just grab and go, grab and shift. Looks like they got a manual. You got clicky buttons there. You can manually change your gears, or you can put that thing in a uh, drive automatic status and roll with the punches. All right, you got your brake valves right there. Still got your air suspension dump. You still got your fifth wheel slide. You got your inner axles. It changes out your axles. Uh, your weight gauge here for your what's on your drives. Stuff seems to still look the same, man. Um, this is nice, man. I tell you, it's nice. But I, I can't be bamboozled by niceness anymore. I gotta go for something that's gonna be more longevity. I'll tell you something that they did change that I do like. Um, on my Peterbilt, it has a, a, a line right here with like a little side window. I don't like that window, man. It, it bothers me. It's, it's pretty much pointless. You can't see it. it. It bothers me, okay? I'm glad on this one, on the 579, that they did get rid of that bar that, that that's on the 587. It really pisses me off. Um, also, I see up here that they got three visors for the sun so you got one in the middle which is pretty dope you got one in the middle you got your two visors off to the side looks like they got some cubby holes up here looks like you can put your cb up here looks like cb goes there you hook your mic in right there um we're gonna get into detail on it when i stand up right now i'm just giving you guys the bird eye view got the curtain full closed curtain action swings all the way around i mean it's not shabby, man. I'm supposed to already be in this truck right here, to be honest with you. I, this is the truck that, like I said, I ordered first. And I canceled it out when I found out that it was a mid-roof. Because I thought I was going to continue training. But now that I'm not continuing training, I kind of like... Nah, I still... I ain't going to lie. I, I don't wish that I had it. Because the electrical issues that I'm going through right now, I don't I don't want to see another Peterbilt pack car. That's, I'm just being honest. If I can be. All right, so let's take a look at the seating. This seating is made of cloth, but it's like a, it's like almost like a, you know how you get in a sports car and you have like that cloth that's, that's, that's nice. So that's some pretty nice cloth. Uh, I wonder if that's heated and ventilated cooling seats. Hmm. It's pretty nice. Something else I noticed that they got over here that's pretty dope. Um, they got like a little laptop or like a little dinner stand that pops out at you right here. So, you know, as you're going down the highway and you got somebody... You know, a student in your truck with you or what have you. You know, you can pull the laptop out right here and be working laptop as you're going down the highway or eating your dinner or what have you right here. I think that is dope. Freightliner, if you guys do watch my videos, man, y'all should do this. Y'all should, should really look into doing that. Drivers, that is that is cool for drivers, man. I like the carbon fiber finish right here. This is pretty dope, man. Like I said, they, they, they did a, a hell of a job on this one. Um, but I cannot be fooled by the niceness. All right, let's take a look at the back. All right, so let me tell you something right now. I gotta take my hat off just because my hat, when I stand up, I'm literally, this is the roof right here, y'all. Look at this. This is the roof. I stand up and I'm literally right here at the roof. Okay, no lie. 
like and i ain't, i'm 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 not i'm not a super tall guy i'm 510 all right so for me to have to stand up and the roof is right here that that's an issue man i'm bumping my head i gotta take my hat off at 510 so i feel bad for anybody who's like over 510 that's like six foot anything more than that you're, you're gonna bump your head as soon as you stand up that's not cool not cool at all um you got some cubby spaces right here in front some more cubby spaces cubby space cubby space cubby space a lot of cubby spaces in the front all right they got the sliding curtains right here so when you go to bed at night pull them got one on this side pull it and it closes out all right let's take a look at it in the back back here now you gotta make sure you watch your step because you got right there you got a little hump i don't know if you can tell but it's a little hump you step down into it a little bit or you gotta step over it shall i say and bada bing bada boom all right now up here this looks like where you put a tv at it looks like tv a tv bracket mount right there you got two outlets up there all right you got the upper room or should i say the upper room should i say the upper bed up here man if they sleep in this man they you gotta feel like you're sleeping in a coffin youngin all right let's take a look man what there's no way in the hell I would sleep in that. Look at that. There's the roof. There's you. Yeah, you really, you literally feel like you're sleeping in a coffin. Wow. And like, even as, just back up. Even as you as the driver down here, if you didn't have a student, man, it's just, geez, where's the room at? Where is the room? All right. Let's get into looking at shelves. So you got a shelf here. All right, and let's figure out, okay. So that's how you open this shelf. You got a lever knob. Man, not a whole lot of room. Got a mirror right here so you can see yourself. Um, close that, you got a refrigerator that's right here. All right, let's take a look. Little baby refrigerator go right there. Gotcha. You got your APU right here. I oh, know I think this is somebody's truck. Oh, he's in his truck. All right, end of recording. We got to go. This is his truck. All right, All right, guys, I'm back. I'm sorry. False alarm. I went out there and spoke with the guy. The guy said, no, nah, he's just over here um, transporting the trucks. This PTI company, they don't do anything with Prime. They just got the, the trucks through um, success leasing. So they have nothing to do with Prime. They just uh, order check the trucks through through uh, Prime. But uh, let's so let's finish this up. You got little cubby spaces here. I mean, it's not a whole lot of not a whole lot of going on, man. Like this is too small for me. Even as a solo driver, single driver, uh, I'm not I'm not really I'm not feeling it, man. I, I, you feel I feel coopy in it right now. I feel real coopy. The uh, Container spaces. I mean, hey, just looks nice, I guess. Let's take a look under the bunk, okay? Because this part lifts up. If it's anything like how my truck is, okay. Let me step back. Let me see here. All right, there we go. Uh oh. There we go. All right. So the bunk lifts up, and this is what you have under the bunk. You have lots of storage space, okay? Plenty of storage space, because that's, that's gonna be the only place that you can put stuff at in here, because the rest of this truck is just <laughs> bite size. All right, man, that's it for this truck. Let's go back up to the front and close All right, the so in conclusion, uh, have to say that the freight line is better. I have to say the freight line is better. I know it's better mechanically because I have had both of them. I've had a 2014 mid-roof and I've had, I'm working right now, I got the 2016 Peterbilt 587 and I've had nothing but electrical issues with the Peterbilt. Freight liner ran like a damn charm. Uh, only time I had her in the shop was for PMs. Um, that was it. But it looks like Peterbilt has made some adjustments that make stuff look real, real nice, but the space 
Yeah, you can't get no space with this, man. And, uh, so I'm not feeling it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it's helpful for you guys. Prime does have some other trucks. They have some internationals. Okay, and they have Freightliner lightweights. Both of them are lightweight trucks. Um, actually, what I'll do is I'll show you a picture of them. I think these are people's personal trucks. So I, I ain't going to be able to hop in them for you. But I'll show you what the uh, lightweights look like. And then uh, we're in the video with a little special little treat for y'all. Special little treat. All right, let's go take a look at these uh, lightweights. All right, here we go. Here is the lightweight international that Prime uses. Uh, the lightweights are for the refrigeration division. And the lightweights, because they can carry more weight in the trailer, so that's why they use these. That's the international pro star right there. You know what I mean? And these lightweights only got one single bed in them, and they, 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 we, uh, they can carry more weight because they're lighter. Here's the Freightliner one. Let's take a look at it. I right, like the blue on that joint. Real, real, real clean. That's the back of them. Everything about them looks the same. Their frame is just smaller. Uh, up in the front, the cab part, they just don't have the extended sleeper like how the other ones do. Uh, these are lightweights. All right. So those are the two lightweight trucks that you can choose from when you come to Prime and you want to go to the refrigeration unit. Uh, you can get with the lightweights. All right. Let's go show y'all a little surprise that I ran across. Check it out. Check out what I found. 642282. For those of y'all that know me, y'all know what truck that is, right? In my first truck right here. In my first truck. Let me step back and let y'all get a full glimpse of it. I seen her when I pulled in. Well, actually, the guy that was driving it is a company driver. And I know him, know him pretty well. You know me and him chopped it up. And uh, he said that he's getting into a different truck, so he's turning this one back in. But look at her. He still got the deer, she still got the deer guard all smiling at your boy and everything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see, they still got the LED lights up there at the top? Still got the LED lights up there at the top. Uh, yeah, this is crazy, man, because she's still out here running, man. He said, I talked to him today. He said, man, she still ain't been in the shop for nothing but PMs, man. She still ain't been in nothing in the shop but PMs. Look at that. She's still looking good. He got her looking good. All right. See, I, I put the I put the little LED lights on the marker right there. I think you still got the, uh, she's still shining from when I used to polish her up and all that. Let's see if we can see the. I don't think this is going to show up, but you can still see the old engravement from where my face used to be with the poke the pro thing on there. That's crazy. Yep, 642282. That's my old baby Buki right here. All right, let's see. Still, he still got the windows tinted on it, look like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Windows are still tinted on the joint. Still got the windows tinted. Still got the little piece of chrome I left up there. Yeah. This the old baby Buki right here. She's still out here kicking. Every time I come to the terminal, I seem to run into him. He's always, he's always here when I show up with her. Whenever I show up, he always, he always got her around. But he got her clean though. You got it clean though. But yeah, man, that's what's up. Big Red, she's still in the building styling on him. You know what I'm talking about? All right, let's flip this around. And let's, uh, All right, young and so I'm, I'm walking back to my truck now, man. Get ready to put it in the shop. 
Over here at Prime for them to put a new power inverter in my joint. Y'all see the new building? The new Prime building is up. Success leasing in that building right there. Real, real, real nice inside of there. Real, real nice inside there. But, uh, about to go clean my truck up a little bit. Yeah, I got, I got stuff.